Let's have a look at how we can find the angle between two planes. And this can be done if we find the angle between their normal vectors n1 and n2 using the usual result for the angle between two vectors that if these are our vectors n1 and n2 here then cos theta is equal to n1 dot n2 that is the scalar product of n1 and n2 divided by the magnitude of n1 times the magnitude of n2 and to find the equation of the normal to the plane we look at the coefficients of x, y and z on the left hand side of the equation of our plane. So let's consider the following example where we have the planes 5x plus y plus z equals 1 so I'll just call that plane 1 and we also have 3x plus 3y plus 3z equals 5 I'll call that one plane 2 and we want to find the angle between them. So for plane 1 first of all the normal vector n1 is going to be 5i plus 1j plus 1k in this case while for plane 2 the normal vector n2 again looking at the 3 3 3 that are the coefficients of x y z in plane 2 therefore the normal vector of that plane will be 3i plus 3j plus 3k so now let's work out our formula for this case cos theta is n1 which here is 5i plus j plus k in a dot product with 3i plus 3j plus 3k for n2 divided by the magnitude of n1 now how do we find the magnitude that's the square root of the sum of squares of the components so 5i so that'll be 5 squared plus 1j so 1 squared plus 1k that would give the magnitude of n1 similarly for n2 square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared and again let's remember now how we work out scalar product and it becomes the coefficients of i multiplied together so 5 times 3 plus the coefficients of j multiplied together so 1 times 3 plus the coefficients of k multiplied together so 1 times 3 and on the denominator square root of 5 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared that's just the square root of 27 square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared square root of 27 again in this particular case so working that out 15 plus 3 plus 3 is 21 square root of 27 times square root of 27 is 27 so cos theta is 21 divided by 27 hence the angle between the normals and thus the angle between the planes is just going to be equal to the inverse cosine of 21 divided by 27 and in degrees that works out to be 38.94 degrees so that is how we find the angle between two planes given their equations